as you know, it's Vlogmas. This is probably be my Vlogmas day four video. I don't know. I'm a day behind than everybody else. So, whatever. So, this might be my Vlogmas day four or day three video. <laughs> So my name is Simone. If you are new, I am a single mom of two sets of twins, born 11 months and 11 days apart. We are also an incarcerated family. My kids. Father is locked up. I will document our journey and my single mom, two sets of twin life. Um, This video... I was actually in the middle of making another video. As you know, it is Vlogmas and I am trying to put out a video every single day. If I don't put out a video every single day, I'm recording a video and it's going to come out maybe the next day or the day after that. And that brought me to this video right here. Putting your energy in to yourself. Now, um, I am tired, okay? I am tired right now. I've been working all day. I had to wake up at four o'clock in the morning and if you have seen my morning routine with four toddlers, you'll know that it is a lot of work to get them dressed and not only if it's a lot of work to get them dressed it's also a lot of work to putting them to bed and feeding them everything when we come home literally as soon as i walk through the door i am preparing for bed time and that brought me to the topic of this that i have learned through my journey of just being a single mom and being a mom of two sets of twins who are just so young ages two and one years old at the beginning of my journey, when I started to go back to work, I would, um, I would, like, press my routine to the fullest. Like, I wanted my kids to be in bed at 8 o'clock and nothing. I was not letting anything interrupt my focus of getting my kids to bed by 8 o'clock. Because I had this mom guilt of me working, which I have to work. And I plan on working anyway with or without their dad being here. But, like, now, like, I really have to work. So... I just kind of felt a mom guilt of waking them up like they're so young, but I'm I have to sit here and wake y'all up at like six o'clock in the morning, and then as soon as they will go to bed, I'm up cleaning, cleaning up everything because I need my house to be perfect and spotless, and picking out their clothes for the next day, which is oh, something that's helping me for the morning, so I won't be flipping through clothes trying to find what they wear and I could just do that at night time. So that right there isn't the issue. But what the issue is, me um, putting all that energy into making sure everything was perfect. See, this was my thing. I want everything to be perfect so nobody could tell me that I was struggling with my kids. And nobody could tell me or look at my kids and be like, oh, look at them like, those clothes don't match. Her hair is not done. Like, I don't want anybody, like, telling me or looking at me thinking, like, I can't handle the situation that has been dealt to me. So, I would just always just try to press my routine and making sure that it was perfect. And eventually, I got overwhelmed with doing so. Like, I would be so tired in the morning because I'm up all night trying to make sure everything is perfect. People don't even come to my house like that. So I'm up like cleaning everything, um, picking up toys and stuff in the living room, just wiping the stuff down, knowing that I won't really have the time to keep it up, you know, throughout the week because like I said, I'm a single mom. I'm doing everything by myself so I don't have that other partner here to help me clean anything, help me with baths, help me pick out clothes, somebody else to take the kids to daycare, even though they come to work with me, but, but it, like, just not having that other person here to help me, so, 
I was not going to let anybody tell me or feel like I'm struggling or feel like I'm being judged. I'm going to say this. It don't matter what people say about you at all, but it's like always just what you think people might say about you. So that's just your own self. Like that's just my own. That was, I would say, my own personal issues just within myself. So after I learned that, I just started within myself learning that I don't have to put my energy into anything that is going to tire me out. If I want to go to sleep, then I'm going to go to sleep. Okay? I don't care if there's a whole mountain full of clothes for me just washing clothes and throwing them to the side. I don't care if it's a whole mountain full of clothes piling up to the top of my ceiling. But Because what's more important than just some clothes piling to the top of my ceiling is that my kids' clothes are clean and what's also important is that I got the rest that I needed and I'm ready to go on about my day I am a more positive person I am a more patient mother I am a more excited to be there at work type employee that I should be because I decided to put my energy in getting some rest over putting my energy into stressing about a pile of laundry on my table, you know. Right, I am back. I don't even know where I was going with the last statement once my phone started ringing. But just to sum it all up so I won't just keep rambling on. Just put your energy into yourself and to your own well-being. Don't um, try to stress yourself out over things that can get done the next day. Or something that's not that important to get done like to me folding laundry is not that important going to sleep is important going to take a shower is important if i only got this much energy left after putting my kids to bed and it takes this much energy for me to go take a shower and tie my hair up then I'm going to use that little bit of energy that I have to go take a shower and tie my hair up. I'm not about to stay up. And I say all that to say, put yourself first, mothers, or whoever this message has reached. Because if you want to be the perfect mother, the perfect employee, um, the perfect creator, like at anything you do, if you just want to be perfect at it, don't put your energy into things that are gonna make you tired, that's gonna make you sleepy. So if you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Make sure you leave a comment down below and subscribe to our channel and share. I'm about to go put my energy that I have left <laughs> into some sleep, y'all. So thanks again for watching, I appreciate each and every one of you tuning in to my crazy life. And yeah, peace.